Hi, I'm Nina Peru, and sitting with me today is the director of the art gallery, Madeline Barbero. So I just wanted to know, how did you get into art? Were you always an art lover? No, I don't even know that um, I'm an art lover now in the sense that you would expect me to be because um, as a gallery director, I'm the kind of person who would always go to museums and just go right to the gift shop. Like that's my favorite thing. As you see, we have a gift shop here because of me, because um, I really was never a visual arts person. I was a musical person and a theater person. Um, and then because of this job, I'm definitely learning more about art and learning to like it and, and love it more now. So going off of that, how did you necessarily get here? <laughs> this job? Yeah, this right. job. Okay, so I have a long history with Iona. Uh -huh. And I used to be, they knew that I was a theater person, they knew that I was an arts person, and I mean, like artsy person, because I used to, you know, I sang and I ran the choir for 20 years, and um, I was in plays when I went here as a musical theater person, I directed the singers for a while, like I did a lot of music-y stuff. Um, so they knew like Madeline Barber Jordan is an artsy person. Then I also had jobs at Iona where I was an administrator, I was also a professor, so, and I knew Iona really well from being here for so long in different jobs. So they knew I was an administrative kind of person and an artsy kind of person. And they needed somebody to be a full-time gallery director and run the Council on the Arts. So they thought, well, she's artsy. She's good at she's organization. A both. She's a little bit of both. Yeah. She'll be able to do it. But I said, I don't know anything about art, visual art. Mm -hmm. They said, you'll learn. So that's what I've been doing. But, you know, it turned out really good because I'm like you guys. Yeah. You know, not a lot of the students that don't really, you know, don't really know a lot about visual arts, so it has to get my attention. If it gets my attention, I'm thinking then then students might be interested. Mm -hmm. So, and I have no ego involved with it. Like if it was something like like a musician coming, I'd be a little bit like really critical because that's like my area more. Yeah. But here, when I just go make it interesting to me, and then we'll be we'll bring those exhibits in, and then the students might be interested. So speaking about. Um art that is interesting for both students and I know um, residents of New Rochelle or anywhere for that matter could come into the art gallery yeah. and just like take a glance yeah. at everything. Yeah. So is all the artwork here um, work by students or how does that really work? So that is the question that probably we get most. Every, people come in and they look around and they go, oh, is this all by students? And it's no, it's, it's professional curators and professional artists. Um, we have one student show a year, uh, which is the last show of every um, year. So we do four other shows. People submit, professional artists and curators submit works to the Council on the Arts, and they come, come up with like a theme. And we're looking for shows that we think students will like, mm -hmm. and also variety. Like this one's photography. Um, the last one was more fun than fun, which was just like crazy that little one was tiny very interesting, things. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Last last year we had something with like inflatable sculptures that were like big balloons. I don't know if anybody saw that one. Um, we had Peter Paul Rubens, who's like real classical, famous artist that people even even I've heard of. Rubens, you know, people say like Rubenesque, you know, like yeah, 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 yeah. So that was pretty cool. So we try to get like all different things because different people have different tastes. Um, but they're, they're real, they're real artists. So also, what I'm personally very curious about is how does if somebody wants to have their art showcased, like right. what's the process they have to go through? Who decides whether or not? Right. I'm sure you're a part of that. I'm a part of that. Yeah, okay. a big part of that. <laughs> Um, so we have a little gallery subcommittee from the Council mm -hmm. on the Arts, and we accept proposals all year long, and often two years in advance because we get a lot. Now, we're getting more well-known, just a little commercial because we got <laughs> the Best of Westchester, we got the, we won the most underappreciated gallery in Westchester. <laughs> it's kind of like a backhanded compliment, yeah. but still. Um, it's something. But So we were, we're getting more attention, so we're getting more submissions. So professional artists, and they, they talk to each other. It's kind of a small art world in the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. They all speak to each other, and they kind of say, this is a nice gallery. Like The, the world, word's getting out. So we get a lot of, I get them, the proposals. And then if it's, I bring them, I put them together, and then we have this little subcommittee, and I kind of organize them ahead of time, kind of like going, this came in, we're going to give it a look, but I don't think, you know, I sort of have like pushed my like agenda a little bit because mm -hmm. it's to save time. We don't have a lot of time. We have like an hour to make a decision for like the whole season. Yeah. So I kind of like pre-screen it a little bit, but we look at everything that comes in and the ones that get, the, we have students on this committee. Those are probably the people we listen to the most. 
the students kind of go like, I think that's cool. I would go to that, you know. Yeah. And then we choose the, you know, the four for the year, and sometimes we go into the following year. Mm -hmm. And then and then that's it. Then we start working with the, per the people to get the details done. So when you said that you guys come up with themes depending on what you think students would think is right. interesting to look at or like, right. oh, whoa, that's so cool. Let's go to the yeah. art gallery. How do you like, how do you start even coming up with specific themes? We like, don't. The curators do. Oh, so okay, the curators okay. send in proposals. And we have a sheet that we give them that the gallery sitters give them if anybody ever asks. And it tells how we're looking for um, you know the artists so mm -hmm. it says you know we're looking for if people go like I just want to show off my art because I'm a good artist we generally don't we're not interested in that yeah so it, it, we're, we're looking for themes maybe that they could like bring in a group of artists that have some sort of theme so like I like things that have to do with like sometimes political things like one time we had last year a thing about like Trump had just gotten elected I think it was last year so two years ago but we had um it was called, I don't remember what it was called, but it was, we, we weren't allowed to call it anything with Trump because mm -hmm. we didn't want to offend anybody because lots of people, you know, are Trump supporters, as we know. So we called it number 45, uh, Artists Respond to the New Political Landscape, mm -hmm. that's what it was called. Um, and I thought that was really timely and good. And I, I, that's one that actually I sought out. I called the curator oh, I knew really? and I said, would you want to curate something with this theme? So that, that I do once in a while. Um, or sometimes like we look for things like about the environment, things uh -huh. that are sort of just like connected to people's worlds. Yeah. Um, but like this one, photography. A lot of students like photography. A lot of students use their phones now to take photographs. So, you know, we, and we haven't had a photography exhibi exhibit in a while, so we did that mm -hmm. one. Um, so just like really, oh, we had one time, Dalton Getty, he, he like um, sculpts sculptures on the tips of pencils, you know, the little lead that's on yeah. the tip of a pencil? He does sculptures in there. So people had to have like magnifying glasses walking around, like looking at them. They're amazing. I can't even sharpen a pencil. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Like we may like not be giving you an exhibition, <laughs> but um, you, I want to show you some of this stuff because we have photos of that, but it's like really cool. Students, they love, love that one. Because it's amazing. cool. It's different. Yeah. That's so, so cool. I definitely would want to check that out. Yeah. We've had him here twice, actually, because I've been here like 14 years and he was so popular that we had him back twice. We'll probably have him again at some point. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm Nina Peru, and this is a little glimpse into the art gallery and Madeline Barbero's life as the director of the art gallery. <laughs>